What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is LCT10 Cricket Champions League. We're in, uh, I don't know which group this is, I forgot. But we are playing this game between the Chakwal Rajas and Bradford. Bradford at the top, Chakwal Rajas right behind him with six points. So I guess this game is really for the bragging rights who will claim the top spot. Because this is the last game in this group. Who do you think is going to win? I think, you know what, I think Chakwal is going to take this one. Bradford has got a very strong side. But I think Chakwal might win this one as they are playing at home. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Going down to the middle now, the captains are there for the toss. The visitors win the toss and will bowl first. Big build up to this match, let's get this match underway. Everything six. Yep. Time to perfection. Batsman will be down at the non strikers in. Yep. Ah, oh, good shot. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. match really important. Big shout 
for that one. King going back to the pavilion a lot sooner than you'd normally expect. Big breakthrough. Very nice throw back there. Good fielding. Yeah. Oh, great shot. Yeah. Absolutely middled that. What a good shot. Yep, catch him! Oh, great shot. Curran, back into the attack. Good effort. Four runs. Yep. Yeah. That's four. Cracking shot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got that away nicely. Yep. Yeah. Catch him. One bounce. Four runs. That's off the middle of the bat. Yep. That was there to be hit, and it was pummeled. Yep. That's what the crowd have come to see. Nicely played. The bat's going to put on 50 here. Good effort. Well, but they could have done with a few more runs just to give their bowlers a bit of headroom. A decent total to chase down for the batsmen, but it won't be easy. If they bat smart and not give away cheap wickets, they'll be right in this. the hardest part of taking that catch is being worried about dropping such an easy chance.
the way. Yep, catch! Ooh, just lands inside the boundary. Four runs. Got into position well there. Great shot. Yes. Oh, picks that one up nicely. Good shot. Yep. It runs to the boundary for four. Yep. Ah, oh, what a good shot. Reaches 30 and... Yes! Yeah! Great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air and takes a good catch. Super shot there. Yep. Gotcha. Perfect technique and placement. Yep. Yes. Catch. He's bowled a good delivery, but the batsman's treated it with contempt. Yes. Got into position well there. Great shot. Nice shot. Yeah, mate. That goes for four. Good shot. Yep. Oh, picks that one up nicely. Good shot. Yep, catch it! And that's 50 already. This has been a roaring performance. Yep, catch it! Absolutely middle that. Yep. Whack! No need to run. That's four. Shot. That brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Good batting. Yep. Bradford won. I was wrong. I thought Jack Wall might win this one, but no, Bradford won. This is how it went out. Tommy McWall played a pretty good innings, over 200 strike rate, but Brandon King uh, could not get going really. Manvora couldn't really get going either. Uh, gone for a duck 
His fellow Indian, though, Shubman Gill played a very beautiful innings, 24-15, and then Corey Anderson contributing in the end as well of 29 of 15 deliveries. Um, not that big of a total, but, you know, pretty pretty okay total, defendable, definitely. Uh, very, very, very impressive figures from Ish Sodhi, giving up only three runs and also taking two wickets. 1.5 economy in a 10 over game keep that in mind that is just insane and then sam kern was very economical as well but yeah very good bowling figures and uh yeah bradistan 11 or bradford 11 whichever one you prefer came out didn't look too good because the two openers were gone just as they came in two balls four balls together combined between those guys so not very good but then joe root the absolute run machine Joe Root came out 68 of 29 bloody deliveries wow and not out finishing it off in style uh, Ben Stokes couldn't really get going but Ravindra Jadeja he's having a smashing day because he took an, an absolute I mean the catch he took the other day against New Zealand in real life that is was just a thing of beauty and now he's done this played a brilliant cameo with 200 strike rate the bowling figures were below par from uh, the Chakwal Rajas although Malinga was pretty good only 7.5 economy rate and got a wicket as well but yeah they lost the game Bradford won by seven wickets here are the highest wicket takers in this group only one person managing to break into double figures and that's Nathan Lyon the Australian magician Ben Stokes right behind him with seven wickets same Kern got six Lasset Malinga Slinga Ringa got six ish so they got six as well as Paul Van Meek what is that name uh Paul let's just say I uh, got six as well. Mama Damer got five. Jack Leach got five as well. That's very good to see Jack Leach in there with the shades. Getting it done. Hassan Ali right behind him. And then Tom Curran, Chad Abhan, Liam Plunkett. And so on. Pretty good bowling figures. Here are the batting stats. Joe Root with that lovely eight innings in the last game takes the top spot from Tami Mekbal, 152 runs. Tami Mekbal right behind him though. Faf to Plissi even closer to Tami Mekbal then. And then Shabman Gill is there as well as Babar Azam, Ravindra Jadeja, Fakh Zaman and Brandon King. Evan Lewis just short of that 100. Just shy of that 100. So I think this group might be the high scoring uh, group. I'm not entirely sure though. But uh, that is an interesting stat that I will not... Um, find out because i am lazy and i'm not going through what is it now 45 or whatever it's going to be like 55 games in the end i'm not going through all those games and counting these all right it's not happening anyway so here we go bradford five wins only one loss so this group is done by the way all the fixtures have taken place so these are the final results bradford Taking number one spot, Chakwal Rajas right behind him with six points. And then the Torpedoes, Somerset Torpedoes and Pindi Pandus finishing in the bottom spots. Four points each. Very unfortunate for them. Commiserations to the owners of those two teams. But congratulations to Fury Boots and Moza, the owners of Chakwal and uh, Bradford. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, video. If you did, do drop a like. If you're new, do subscribe, do share the video. Comment below who do you think is going to do well in the playoffs. And uh, by now, you should have some idea of who's going to go through to the playoffs. There are some groups that are very close, and it's hard to tell who's going to go through. But um, for the most part, it's pretty evident who's going to go through the next round. So do let me know who do you think is going to have a good time in the playoffs and who's not going to have too good of a time. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.